しい学祖四角い空心の隙間埋めるあけぬよりからけよどうん。Don't you think Kitagawa kun has to be protecting Matarame? I mean, they live together, so he'd have to be aware of Matarame's true nature. The only reason I can think of him doing that is that Matarame has something on him. Yeah, that's weird. But that's why we're going to check it out, right? You ready to be a model? Yeah, I'm prepared. What do you mean, prepared? <laughs> prepared for what? Something seemed different about her to you? はあ。
Kitagawa-kun seemed really happy when I agreed to be his model. Once he finishes drawing and gets a little friendlier, we should bring up Madarame. I thought it would just be you coming, Takamaki-san. Wouldn't you get nervous too, if it was just the two of us? We're here to keep an eye on you, so uh, don't try anything perverted, okay? Stop making such odd assumptions. I have absolutely no interest in her as someone of the opposite sex. Huh? Is there a problem? No, not really. Well then, let's get started. Hey! Kitagawa-kun? Hmm. You hear her? <sighs> it's no use. This isn't what we planned. We were gonna catch him off guard and make him spill his beans, weren't we? How were we supposed to know this was gonna happen? Guess we just gotta wait till he's done. What an effing pain in the ass. Perhaps I should try going outside this room. Huh. Who do you think you're talking to? This is too boring, so I'm going to scout around a bit. It's weird how flashy that door is. And is that a lock? A door with a hefty lock. What could be in there? <sighs> Are you done? It's no good. What? I'm sorry. Am I the problem? No, not at all. It's just... I'm having trouble staying focused today. I'm sorry, but we'll have to resume this another time. Oh, hell no! How many hours do you think you made us wait? I'm sorry. We had another reason for seeing you today. We needed to talk to you. It's about those rumors regarding your sensei. This again. And that painting I saw at the exhibit. You're the one who actually painted it, right? That's... I knew it. Your sensei's seriously messed up. He just thinks of his pupils as tools. That's why he doesn't give a damn whether he steals their work or physically beats them. I'll make this clear. There's no point in hiding stuff from us. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. You couldn't go against him, could you? I'm sure we can help you out, though. Stop it. It's just as you all say. We're our sensei's artwork. Don't misunderstand me, though. I offered my ideas to him myself. As such, it can't be called plagiarism. Sensei is simply suffering from artist's block right now. Dude, still! <sighs> Kitago kun Then why are you sticking around? All his other pupils ran away. Aren't you the only one left? What's wrong with a pupil helping out his master? There are no victims here. Stop pushing your self-centered righteousness on me. <laughs> I'm supporting Sensei as his pupil. Where's the wrong in that? Don't ever come here again. If you do, I'll sue you for causing a disturbance. Hold it! We're not done talking here! Then you leave me with no choice. Hey! I'm reporting you to the police. I asked Hakamaki-san to be my model today, but I don't recall ever calling you two here. What the F, man? Ryuji, stop it! Calm down, okay? Damn it! I won't report you, but only under one condition. What's that? I want you to continue being my model, Takamaki-san. But you said that it wasn't working out today. 
That's because I was unconsciously being modest for your sake. However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you are willing to bear everything to me, I will put my heart and soul into creating the best nude painting ever! What?! Nude?! Ah, uh, to think I'd be able to create a nude painting with my most ideal model! Of course, you two won't be allowed in, and I ask that you forget about our discussion today as well. If I don't submit a new piece to Sensei soon, there will be some... inconveniences. Nude? Meaning it'll be without any clothes, right? Why are things suddenly escalating like that? Because those are my terms. But that's... Wait, ain't that bad? Since he is out during the afternoon while the art exhibit is on, so I can use this place freely, I should buy more art supplies. Will you give me a second here? Uh, of course. I'm willing to wait. I'll make time according to your plans. But please come before the exhibit ends. No, that's not what I mean! Why are you not listening? Sensei will be returning home soon. We're done for today. Takamaki-san, I'll be waiting for you to contact me. No, no, no! We are not done talking here! Hey, what should we do? He got us good this time. Don't give up so easily! Huh? Is she done being a model? A cat? You moron! He's totally out of his mind! I'm gonna have to pose nude if this keeps up! How dare that, Yusuke! The way he said it, it's not going to be semi, but full-on nude. Uh, 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 full nudity? Uh, Lady On's gonna... Drop it! You know, you won't have to worry about that if we make Madarame confess before the exhibit ends. But Kitagawa-kun thinks he owes his life to him. Is there a need to make Madarame confess? Then, Lady On, you're fine with bearing it all? Madarame is no different from Kamoshida. That asshole's using Yusuke who doesn't have parents. You're telling me we should just ignore how he's being treated horribly like the other pupils? No. It is frustrating to leave this alone, even if Kitagawa-kun is fine with it himself. You can't leave it be because you've endured a lot yourself with Kamoshida. Yeah. Anyways, we gotta go after this guy. Madarame is the kind of target we've been waiting for. Let's help Yusuke come to his senses, too. Before he ends up like us. Right. We need to look into Madarame first. There might be tons more stuff that hasn't been exposed yet, too. It may become easier for us to investigate his palace if he's preoccupied with his exhibit. Also, there's the thing about me modeling. Kagawa-kun said there'd be inconveniences unless he submits a new piece. Maybe that's going to be announced soon as Madarame's next work. Does that mean the whole country's gonna see you nude? No way! Hell no! We must deal with Madarame, no matter what, before his exhibit ends. Let's start after school tomorrow. Oh, it'll be a pain if Miss President finds us on the rooftop again, so... Uh, where to meet up? Let's see... I guess that walkway-like place in Shibuya would work. It's near Madarama's place, too. Changing our hideout periodically, huh? That's a plan I don't mind backing. Hey, uh, can I talk to you kids for a sec? Huh? From the looks of things, you don't seem like the ordinary stalking fans. Uh... Oh, sorry. I should have been more clear. I'm actually looking for people that know Madarame's pupils. There's this painting, Sayuri, that was supposedly stolen in the past. But there's this rumor that it was taken by one of his pupils in retaliation for being abused. 
Have you heard anything about that? I see. There's no case unless there's a victim, and if there's no proof of abuse, I can't write either. Looks like I'm back to square one. Sorry for taking your time. I'm a journalist. If you ever get any leads, mind contacting me here? See you then. I guess we should go home for today. another person who needs a change of heart. You're better off talking to him in person if you want specifics. All I know is his target is a terrible person. And that it might complicate things if he posted the name online. I'll have him wait for you at Shibuya Station after school. The guy's name is Nakanohara. Nakanohara? That's Matarame's student. I told him to approach you. Good luck. If the rumor Ryuji just spoke of is true, there have to be other victims. Hey. Hey! close up.
Yo. We're about to head to the hideout, too. Who's that? Excuse me. That's Nakanohara. Mishima told us to meet him here in Shibuya today. For real? My name is Nakanohara. Natsuiko Nakanohara. The one who was posted about on the Phantom Aficionado website. He seems pretty nice. Doesn't seem like the stalker type. I think the change of heart must have worked. The administrator of that website contacted me. They told me to look for someone in a Shujin uniform with a cat. So, what do you want? You may have already heard, but there's someone I wish to trigger a change of heart in. An artist by the name of Madarame. <gasps> you think this is it? Is the pupil gonna confess his master's secrets? His shadow did mention Madarame as well. I'm one of Madarame's former pupils. He gave me lodging at his home, where I thought only about art. I genuinely wanted to be an artist. There was another pupil as well, a very talented man, multiple years my senior. Obviously, Madarame kept tabs on him. Everything he made was claimed as a Madarame original. He wasn't the only victim, though. Right, we got some real proof of the plagiarism. In response to Madarame's actions, that senior pupil committed suicide. Suicide? He must have been unable to bear seeing his work praised under Madarame's name. That was when I disobeyed Madarame's orders and left. But he quickly pressured other parts of the art world, and my life as a painter was destroyed. I tried to turn over a new leaf working at a ward office, but it was no use. My attachment to art warped my emotions. Soon I began getting attached to everything. In the end, I even turned into a stalker. <laughs> I'd like to ask again. Please, make Madarame have a change of heart. Not only for me, it's to save the life of another man as well. Even now, there's still one young man remaining under Madarame's tutelage. I think he's about your age. That has to be Yusuke. Not only is he a talented artist, he also owes Madarame for taking him in after his mother passed. He is the perfect target. So Yusuke's got no choice but to listen. I actually spoke to him a few times back when I was still living at Madarame's. I asked him if he found it painful to stay with Madarame. And you know what he said? If I could leave, I would. Kitago Akun. I have no right to say this given my prior cowardice, but I don't want to see another suicide. I'd like to find a way to save this young man. He has a bright future ahead of him. Please consider that when thinking about changing Madarame's heart. We've been asked to act directly on behalf of one of Madarame's victims. It sounds like we don't have the time to deliberate whether or not to change Madarame's heart. Yeah, Madarame's just a piece of shit who preys on the weak. Suicide. I'll never let something like that happen. Plus, we finally got to hear how Kitagawa-kun really feels. Well, since we've reached a unanimous decision, how about we continue this at our new hideout? My fellow thieves, welcome to our new hideout. Our target this time is Matarame. We all saw that palace. We'll pay dearly if we assume it's just going to be like the last one. And furthermore, Lady An's chastity is on the line. What? We'll need to do what we did with Kamoshida. First, we secure an infiltration route in the palace. After that, we send our calling card. Once the treasure has materialized, we steal it. Oh, oh, I got a question. Uh, Madarame doesn't know that we were doing stuff in the palace yet. Why are we already getting treated like criminals in there? You're learning, Ryuji. Well done. It must be because he doesn't trust anyone. Any unknown person may as well be an enemy. Or maybe he's just super salty from all those rumors that have been spreading about him. Then his palace being so crazy had nothing to do with us? Either way, we should stay on our best behavior. 
It'll be harder for us to steal the treasure if we needlessly increase the security level. We need to be careful of Kitagawa-kun this time, too. I'm sure that whatever he sees will just get passed on to Madarame. That's right. Hey, what is Madarame's treasure going to look like anyway? Another crown? I doubt that, but my sixth sense will know when I see it. Oh yeah, you go completely nuts, huh? Our time limit is when the exhibit ends, right? That means... June 5th. We'll carry out the plan after we've sent out the calling card. So our infiltration route will need to be set in stone two days prior on June 2nd. Now listen here! We can't mess this up, no matter what, okay? Okay. We've much to discuss. <laughs> Marvelous. You certainly seem composed. Time for some rehabilitation. You wish to perform an execution. Let us begin the search. Not terrible, but not impressive. You okay with this? Not 
terrible, but not impressive. Terrible, but not impressive. You can't handle this. You okay with this? You okay with this? Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Its power will be nothing unusual. Its power will be nothing unusual. Its power will be my, my. Change your mind. Are you finished? What? It is time, inmate. Come on, man.
Show me your true form. Alright, the first move is ours. An enemy defeated! Skull, give me more! Let's be simple about this! Persona! There! I suppose this is it! Now, what are you doing to me? Indeed. I am thou. Thou art I. Show me your true form! Show me your true form! There's a dangerous one in there! Yeah. Ooh, baby! You lift me up! Persona! There! the best item. Show me your 
true form. All right, the first Come. one is ours. Grab it, Snap. Let's be simple about this. Good I am. Witness my resolve. I hit their weakness. Get ready. Too easy. We wanna make this party. You don't wanna come in. Gonna be a show. Hmm. Nice work, team. All right. Shadow defeated. I can. That was easy, it. huh? I'll reveal your true form. First move is off. Looking cool, Joker. Go. All right. My turn. Pass the baton and follow up. Yeah. Let's go, Captain. Get it, Skull. I suppose this is it. Might be close by, Joker. Ah, oh, nice. We can use this as a safe room. Let's do it. True form. Let's pull back. 
for now. All right. Focus. Form. Feel your true form. Don't think so, we're gonna read. 
have this incredible skull. Hell yeah! A new move! Okay. Uh, that was a close Somewhere. one. Oh, what an idea! Hmm. Huh. All right, a chest! Joker, it's a treasure chest! Hey, wait a second. You're just gonna ignore that golden sheen? Hmm. Look at that luster. I know it might be tough to take with us, but don't you think it'd sell for tons? Come on, we didn't come here to... Wait, hold on, you're stepping on something. Isn't this bad? Oh no, I tripped the security. Uh, you were the one making us be careful, too. So, what do you want to do? Run out of here? No, passing through all of these lasers will draw far too many enemies to our location. Oh, hold on! Joker's not trapped! Sorry, Joker, but we're going to need you to search for a way to turn off these infrared lasers. This is a museum, so there has to be some switch to let the workers avoid these lasers. Find it. Reveal your true form. Persona! You're mine. Persona! Go down! Me okay now? Too slow. Persona! There! All right. 
Okay, we're done. Hurry up and move I on. Can feel it. Thank you. Sorry. Saying, hey Joker, something here I'm wondering about.
No. Show me your true form! Alright! The first move is off! Go down! Flip him, Persona! Let's go, Captain <laughs> Stone! I'll right. handle this! That's the baton and fire one! Hmm. 
Wait! For real? I should write something. Ready? Let's... Some other way. No. Sona. Go down. Cool. Looking cool, Joker. Persona. You're mine. Cool. Looking cool, Joker. Come. There. Joker took one out. All right.
I'll reveal your true form. Stop! Wow! That shadow was crazy! Arizona! Go down! Ooh, very nice! True form. Now's our chance to strut. Go. Cool. Looking cool, Joker. Persona. Ravage them. Joker took one out. All right. Let me go already. Take this. We finish it. Persona. Let's go. You're mine. All enemies defeated. Just what I'd expect from you, Joker. Okay. Shadow defeated. Let's go, I can Joker. Feel it.
Okay. I can feel it. Might be close by, Joker. Whoa! This is amazing! Let's go! Infrared lasers? There's no way we can get past them! This level of security only proves there's something worth protecting up ahead. Wait, there's something written on the sign. All personnel, this door can only be opened via the security room that lies beyond it. Please be cautious, as it is impossible to open from the outside. So, it's never gonna open? How are we supposed to get past? Wait, that door. I think I've seen that pattern somewhere. Oh, right. There's no mistaking it. That's the same door I saw earlier. Guys, let's head back. Huh? Why? I think I know what real world door that's based on. There may be another way to open it. In any case, I'll explain later. Come on, let's go. place. Joker. Persona! There! Woo! 
looking cool, Joker! Ravage them! Joker took one out! Alright! Good work. Keep it up. I have something. Show me your true form. Something. Now. <sighs> Listen up, inmate. your progress in our game time for some rehab let's execute him what path do you want you okay with this select the skills you'd like to inherit a fraction of power. Now for a rebirth.
You okay with this? Excessive power only leads to destruction. Fusion. Finished for now. Are you finished? What? No slacking off! to get past that door I don't know you think there's some kind of off switch somewhere looks like this is where I come in Mona I have a suspicious place in mind remember this shack is the basis for Madarame's palace I actually scouted it out the last time we were here Whoa! so this was your plan from the start correct you only went scouting because you were bored. So? Where's this suspicious place? It's on the second floor. I noticed an unnaturally hefty lock on a door up there. If it's locked, that means there's something in there he doesn't want people to see. But don't we want to be opening the door in the palace? Yes. And we're going to do that by opening the real one in front of Madarame's eyes. Basically, we're going to change his cognition that the door is unopenable. In other words, when we open the one in Madarame's house, that area in his palace will open on its own? I'm not really getting it. Uh, is that gonna work? Trust me, there's no chance it won't open. I think. You understand, don't you, Joker? Well, yeah, but... Why don't you trust me? It's worth a try. But even then, there's still that hefty lock we have to deal with in reality, right? Ugh, that'll be a breeze. Just give me a hairpin and I'll handle it. It will take some time, though. Doing everything by myself in front of Madarame would be impossible. If only there was someone who could distract him for a while. Huh? Oh! Man, how are we even gonna get into his house? <laughs> We'd get reported for sure if we force ourselves in. What? I guess the only way is having you go nude. What? Fancy you say that, Ryuji. I was just thinking the same thing. This isn't funny! We're not saying you should really get naked. It's simply the best excuse for you to enter Madarame's house without raising suspicions. So we'd like for you to play the role of decoy, Lady An. This is way too sudden! I mean, I don't even know where the locked door is! Don't worry, I'll accompany you. But that's still technically only me! Worst comes to worst, what if I get found out? We can run into the palace. Or something. Is that really gonna work? I mean, you're not giving me much confidence in this plan. 
Do I have to be the bait? But what if, you know, uh, um, nothing. All you gotta do is trick Yusuke, have him take you to that room, then just open the door. You make it sound so easy. But if there's no other way, I don't... Uh, I don't... I don't have a choice. Ugh, God! Fine, I'll do it. For justice. Seriously, you better pull this off. If it's for your sake, Lady On, I won't stop scratching even if all my claws were to break. We'll be counting on you, Morgana. Don't let Yusuke notice you, all right? If he tries to force my clothes off, I'll tear that house down. I'm really gonna lose it if we do all this and the palace door doesn't open. Got it? We're working to get dirt on that guy's crimes either way. It won't go to waste. All right, let's get down and dirty tomorrow. Tomorrow? Earlier the better. Um, but uh, will Kitagawa-kun agree? I don't know. Just say something like, I really need it to be tomorrow. That should work, yeah? Okay. is a reflection of how its owner views the real world. So if Madarame's cognition of reality changes, it's only natural that his palace would be affected. And all jokes aside, we really will need Lady On to strip for Yusuke. It's the only way.
Hey! Well then. That should do it for now. So it's you. You did use this line now that I think about it. Anyhow, what's with this sudden change in attitude? I was contacted by Takamaki-san last night. She's accepted the nude modeling proposition. That's nice, of course, but I hope you aren't conspiring anything. Do not make a mockery of art. Don't judge us by your worldly standards. I'll call the police if you try anything. Remember that. Oh, yes. Here's a question. This is it. Oh, not bad. Nice going! Well, 
On, Morgana, we're counting on you. Me and him are banned from going there, so all we can do is wait here. No, you two have something different you'll need to do. What do you mean? You have to wait inside the palace. Once that door opens, sneak in and look for some kind of control room. We need to make sure the door can't close anymore after it's open. Oh, I get it. Okay, you can leave that to us. To think you'd really come. I assumed you were lying when you contacted me. I'm sorry it was so sudden. Oh, it's not a problem. But, as I told you yesterday, Sensei will be returning in about 20 or 30 minutes. So, um, I'm sorry if that causes some anxiety on your part. That's why I'm here today, damn it! What was that? Oh, no! <laughs> it was nothing! By the way... Have you gained some weight? You think so? I weigh the same as always. Maybe I'm bloated today. So then, can you, um, get ready here? I need to take my clothes off, right? Yes, please. I'm embarrassed. Uh, could you look the other way? Oh. Phew, that was tight. Tight? No, I'm doing this for art. Don't look over here, okay? Hey, your sensei's coming back soon, right? I believe so. Hmm. Do you think we could do this somewhere else then? A little more atmosphere would be lovely. Well, this should be good enough. But wouldn't a room with a lock be a bit better? A lock? <laughs> Must a girl say more? Uh, but the only one with a lock is Sensei's room. Then why not there? I can't intrude. Besides, I don't have the key. <sighs> he says he doesn't have the key. It's okay. That's why I'm here. I'll just use this hairpin. Takamaki-san, are you about... You were wearing all this? D don't you think it's cold today? <laughs> I suppose so. The sun is starting to set. Right? That's why a change of location would be nice. I mean, I'm gonna take it all off. <laughs> True. It might make for a better picture if I can brighten my model's mood. Uh-huh. That's right. She may even be willing to try out various expressive poses for use in a dynamic composition. W what kind of poses? Lady On, you have to act. Get back in character. <clears throat> Let's go. I was just starting to get in the mood. Wait, if you wander around, Sensei will... Oh, it's so hot. We really can't use any other room. Hey, why not this one? Please wait! I'm counting on you, Mona. Seriously gonna be able to pull this off? She was saying stuff like, I'll just seduce him with my acting, but that sounds out of her league. Plus, we ain't got one sign this place is gonna open. Isn't Marurame coming home soon? On top of that, even if Mona's able to unlock the door, how's it gonna show it to Marurame? And then even if they do show it open, any normal person would just close it right up again. Doesn't that mean we only got a few seconds to get in? To be blunt, won't it be a miracle if this works? I want to think that too, but... It's almost time. Please, can you just wait and... 
What's past here? That's... So the door Mona mentioned is up ahead. I keep telling you, you can't! You're still not done? It's hard to do this with cat paws. Uh, is something the matter? Oh, um... So... What is this room? It's a storage area for old paintings. Storage? Hey, Kitagawa-kun. Why don't we do it in here? I won't be embarrassed if we go somewhere nobody can find us. Only Sensei can go in there. Please. I want to be alone with you. Somewhere like... Quiet! <laughs> you know, where we won't get interrupted. Is he really going to buy that terrible act? Stay focused! Hmm? Oh, it's just so frustrating that my feelings aren't getting through to you. Kitagawa-kun, do you not like girls like me? No, th that's not true. How is that working on him? Please, we can continue this inside. Sure. I mean, no, we can't go in there. Uh, it's locked anyway, so... Fine, this is too embarrassing. I'm leaving. But... Let's just do it in here, okay? What do I do? I'm home. S sensei Yusuke? All right, it's open. Huh? What are you doing there? It's it's not what it looks like. What? Not in there. Uh, nothing's happening. I wonder what's... Hmm? It's off! They seriously did it! Yeah, for real! Let's go! No way, man. All right. Sorry.
They got past the security system? You cannot go any further. You are trespassing on Lord Matarame's territory. You guys ain't got nothing on us. I'm more scared of screwing up and having on yell at me. Let's go. All right. What the persona? Get wrecked! Persona! You're mine. Ha! Persona! There! Ha! Persona! Persona! Go down! Kamaki-san, this is bad. Are these the lights? <gasps> what the... Isn't this Sayuri? Why are there so many of them? I have no idea. Get out! Sensei, what is the meaning of this? I suppose I can't keep quiet now that you've seen this. Truth be told, I'm in severe debt. I handmade these Sayuri copies and have been selling them through a special connection of mine. But why? The real Sayuri was stolen by one of my pupils long ago. I assume they begrudged my strictness. That moment was quite a shock for me. Since then, I've been mired in a terrible artist block. Because of this distress, some of my pupils handed their ideas over to me from time to time. Uh. I knew I couldn't keep that up, so I attempted to recreate the Sayuri a number of times. However, it resulted in nothing more than replicas. That's when someone came to buy the paintings, knowing, well, they weren't original. It's all my fault. I couldn't pay the price of being famous. As expectations for me rose, it reached a point where I had no choice but to keep making them. I needed money to further your talents. I ask that you please forgive your cowardly teacher. Please, don't. Hold on, something doesn't add up. If the original painting got stolen, how did you make copies of it? I happened to find a finely detailed photograph of it in an art book. So, you managed to sell copies of a photo of the original? I'm not sure how this works, but... Don't people who buy paintings generally have a keen eye for the fine arts? Mm, this sounds like a lie to me. What would you know? Something just doesn't feel right. Lady On! This one seems different. Sayuri? This... This is the real Sayuri. But you just said a moment ago that it was stolen. That's a replica. No, it's nothing of the sort. This painting kept me going. It's the reason I made it this far. Sensei, don't tell me. It's fake. Yes, a counterfeit. I heard there was a counterfeit spreading around, so I bought it. So you're telling me the actual artist behind the painting bought a counterfeit? That's pushing it. You're lying, Sensei. Please, just tell us the truth. You too? I've reported you to my private security company. What? 
I had it set up to deal with some problematic paparazzi, but I never thought it'd come in so handy. Please, wait. Let's talk about this. You could talk all you want to the police. That includes you, Yusuke. Lady On, let's run! A cat? Where did it... There's no point! They'll be here within two minutes! Takamaki-san! Yeah, let's go! Hey, look! those two managed to get away. You two are... I don't recall ever seeing this cat costume before, though. What is this place? We are inside Matarame's heart. Inside Sensei's heart? I'm sorry, Takamaki-san. But are you sure you're feeling okay? She ain't lying. This is what that bastard truly feels. He's nothing but a greed-filled money grubber. Enough of this rubbish! Kitagawa-kun, didn't it cross your mind that something wasn't right about Matarame? <sighs> That's... Uh... You may not want to believe it, but this is another reality as viewed through Matarame's eyes. This is his true nature. This repulsive world? Just who are all of you? I guess you could say we're a group that changes the hearts of Ron Crooks. If everything you say is true, then the sensei I know doesn't exist. You gotta snap out of it. Still, he has kept me safe these past ten years. My gratitude for that won't just disappear. You're gonna forgive him? At this rate, you'll... Are you okay? I'm trying to be rational about this, but my emotions are overwhelming me. Sorry, but we don't have time to dawdle. The security level's gone through the roof. We need to get out of here at once! <sighs> no, it's all right. We need to get out of here. That said, we have an amateur with us now. Let's try to avoid fighting as much as possible. So this is inside of Sensei's heart? A vain museum such as this? Uh, 
This painting! Do you recognize it? We were thinking these might be his past pupils or something. But... why are the paintings of them here? Technically, those aren't actually paintings. They're the pupils themselves. Madarame saw them as objects, so that's what they are in here. Oh, and, uh, we found yours, too. <sighs> we'll talk more later. For now, let's get out of here. <gasps> the exit is right there! <laughs> What the? <laughs> Talk about bullshit clothes. First a king, now some kind of shogun. Welcome to the museum of the master artist, Madarame. Huh? Sensei? Is that you? That attire? Disgusting. This... This is all one big lie, isn't it? My usual ragged attire is nothing but an act. Besides a famous person living in that shack, I have another home. Under a mistress's name, of course. <laughs> How naive. If the Sayuri was stolen, why was it in the storage room? And if you had the real one, why make copies? If it's really you, Sensei, please tell me. Foolish child, you still don't see? Painting being stolen was just a false rumor I spread. It was all a perfectly calculated staging. What do you mean? Let me see. How does this sound? I found the real painting, but it can't go public. You can have it for a special price, though. Ha-ha! <laughs> How's that for preferential treatment? Art snobs will eat it up and pay good cash at that! No. The value of art is purely illusion. What's the matter with providing that illusion to eager customers? Though I doubt a brat like you would ever come up with such a brilliant scheme. You keep going on and on about money this, money that. No wonder you ended up with this disgusting museum. You're supposed to be an artist, right? Aren't you ashamed of plagiarizing other people's work? Art is nothing but a tool. A tool to gain money and fame. You helped me greatly as well, Yusuke. God, it pisses me off. That's your teacher. But what about the people who believe in you? Who think you're a master artist? I'll tell you this alone, Yusuke. If you wish to succeed in this world, I'd advise you don't rise against me. Do you believe anyone could find success with my objection holding them down? <laughs> I was under the care of this wretched man. You thought I took you in out of the goodness in my heart? Plucking talented yet troubled artists allows me to find promising pupils and take their ideas. After all, it's much easier to steal the futures of children who can't fight back. I can't believe this. Livestock are killed for their hide and meat. This is no different, you fool. But I tire of this little chat. It's time that I... You are unforgivable. Mm. It doesn't matter who you are. I won't forgive you. So, you repay my keeping you around for all these years with ingratitude? You damn... Rat. Then dispose of these thieves. Get back. How oh, amusing. Huh? <laughs> it seems the truth is stranger than fiction, huh? Kitagawa kun? I wanted to believe it wasn't true. 
I had clouded my vision for so long. My eyes were truly blind. Blind and unable to see the true self behind this one horrible man. Have you finally come to your senses? <laughs> How foolishly you averted your eyes from the truth. A deplorable imitation indeed. Best you part from that aspect of yourself. <laughs> Let us now forge a contract. <laughs> I am thou. Thou art I. The world is filled with both beauty and vice. It is time you teach people which is which. Very well. Come. Go on! A breathtaking sight. Imitations they may be, but together they make a fine spectacle. Though the flowers of evil blossom, be it known, abominations are fated to perish! Whoa, this is impressive! Who do you think you are? The price for your insolence will be death! Where are my guards? Kill them all! The children who adored you as father. The prospects of your pupils. How many did you trample upon? How many dreams did you exchange for riches? No matter what it takes, I will bring you to justice! I am ready! Presence of Lord Marwame! On your knees, intruders! I learned much from you, Mother Ame. In order to see authenticity, one must be dispassionately realistic. With Goemon by my side, I can now ascertain your true self without any reservations. Let's go! Goemon! <laughs> Persona! Ravage them! Alright, Joker! Very smooth! Get ready! Ha. Nice one! They can't land it here! I am thou. I lend it. Sona. future down the drain. I'll destroy every chance you've ever had of becoming an artist. Matarame! You'll forever rue the day you dared defy me. Get back here! Kitagawa-kun! Why can't I move? 
Listen, you're totally drained. You can't do much even if you wanted to. What a disgrace I am. Come on, just listen to her. You've known for quite some time, haven't you? I'm no fool. Strange people have been coming by for years. And the plagiarism was an everyday affair. But who would want to admit that the man they owed their life to was doing such terrible things? Why didn't you leave, Kitagawa-kun? Well, he is the one who painted the Sayori. On top of that, I owe him a great debt. You mean because he raised you? I never knew my father. I was told my mother raised me by herself, but she died in an accident when I was three. That's when Sensei took me in. I heard he helped my mother while she was still alive. Heard? To be honest, I don't remember much about my mother either. I did everything I could for Sensei. I thought of him as a father, but he changed. To think he would treat the Sayori, the very foundation of his art like that. A lot's happened to you, huh? When you had mentioned plagiarism, deep down, I knew you were right. That's why I so vehemently denied you. I was simply running from the truth. I'm sorry. I'm grateful for the chance to face what I have been denying all this time. You're way too serious, man. That's why you're always getting stuck in your own head. Look at me. I just go with the flow. For real. What are you going to do now? I don't know. We can't help the fact that Madarame's gone and changed. But we can change his heart. We'll make him pay for his crimes. That reminds me. You mentioned something about that change of heart earlier. Have you heard the rumors? The ones about the phantom thieves that steal hearts? <laughs> Don't tell me. Oh, crap! We'll talk later. We need to scram! When did my clothes change? You just noticed that now? Save it for after. Let's go! I see. And because of that, this PE teacher's had a change of heart. The phantom thieves who steal hearts. To think they truly exist. Indeed. Well, I have to believe your words, especially after seeing a world like that. So, your plan with Madarame-sensei, with Madarame, is to force a change of heart, correct? Let me join, as a member of the Phantom Thieves. Had I faced reality sooner, this may have been avoided. I must put an end to this for the sake of the others whose futures as artists were robbed as well. That is the most civil thing I can do for the man who was, in some manner, my father. Civil, huh? Sounds fine to me. We're gonna deal with Madarame anyways. He may have a mental shutdown if we screw up. We have ways to prevent that, but they aren't fail-safe. Remember how we mentioned this on our way here? Madarame is a man who has the art world under his thumb. He has connections to many organizations. If someone like me raises my voice, it'll only be snubbed out. We have no option but this. Kitagawa-kun. It's a deal, then. We have a new member in the Phantom Thieves now. I hope we get along, Yusuke. You better not slow us down. I'll do my best. Thank you. I ask that you coach me well. Oh, that reminds me. I wonder what's going on with the real Madarame. Yusuke and I were in a pretty tight situation. Actually, I contacted him before we came here. He believes that I continued pursuing Takamaki-san. And, just as you all explained, it appears he knows nothing about his shadow. 
What did he say? He was complaining to the security company how they couldn't even catch one high school girl. However, he's still furious about it, and said that he's going to take legal action against everyone. Talk about being completely on guard. Legal action? He's acting way too desperate. Maybe he still has more secrets. If he were to act, it'd be after the exhibit is over. Any scandal during the show would be his loss. Right when I think the talk about being a nude model is over, this happens? We'll have to force a change of heart before then, if we're to dodge this legal action thing. Looks like our plan must be accomplished while the exhibit is still open. By the way, what is this? Huh? A cat. But it's talking. You have a problem with that? No, not really. Why not? He's just on a different wavelength than other people. Do you wish to draw me? You better bring out the best of me in that case. Hmm. Hey, don't touch me like... I was thinking of ordering some black bean jelly. I bet he got that idea from a black cat. Oh! I didn't bring any money. Never mind. He's just weird. Hey! No, no, no. We just need to change his heart before he presses charges. Try to focus on that problem for now. Let's do it. <laughs> 